point of departure that I would like to suggest to you is that time is a social institution and not a physical reality. And what he found objectionable about human beings was they never noticed it when they were really happy. Life moves pretty fast. We've got a system of schooling which gives a completely different impression. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect. And what we do is we put the child into the corridor of this grade system with a kind of, come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. But actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Then you've got to go to college, and by Jove, then you get into graduate school, and when you're through with graduate school, you go out to join the world. And then you get into some racket, and they've got that quota to make. And you're going to make that. And all the time, the thing is coming. It's coming. It's coming. That great thing, the, the success you're working for. Oh, you should always waste time when you don't have any. Then when you wake up one day about 40 years old, you say, my God, I've arrived. And you don't feel very different from what you always felt. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. And there's a slight letdown because you feel there's a hoax. And there was a hoax. A dreadful hoax. They made you miss everything. Uncle Alex would all of a sudden say, if this isn't nice, what is? And then we'd realize how happy we were and we might have missed it. Time is not the boss of you. We thought of life by analogy with a journey, with a pilgrimage, which had a serious purpose at the end. And the thing was to get to that end, success or whatever it is, or maybe heaven after you're dead. But we missed the point the whole way along. It was a musical thing and you were supposed to sing or to dance while the music was being played. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, time. It's an illusion. Lunchtime. Doubly so. And you might want to write these down.